the What To Next podcast helps to build a TBR of future favorite books. In each episode, Lori and Maine interviews authors and book influencers to recommend books they love for you to pick up today. If you're an avid reader, always looking for your next great read, then the show. Hi, Annabelle. Welcome to What To Next podcast. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. So happy to have you here. I actually have to be, I've been a really good fan about Nora Goes Off Script. So I'm oh. really excited to talk to you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I am, I've just had my second book for adults come out same time yeah. next summer. So that's pretty much the big thing that's happening to me right now. Um, but before that, I wrote young adult fiction. Um, I have two young adult novels, uh, A Girl Named Digit and Double Digit. Um, and I've written a column for a while. Um, I have three sons who, two of whom are adults now. So I've been doing that for a while. Um, and I live in New York. Oh my gosh. I love this. I did not know you wrote YA or like young adult, like young adult, like tell us about well, what, or like. They were not blockbusters. That's probably why you haven't heard of them. <laughs> That's I'm okay. Not Rowling. <laughs> Talk to us about what led you to start writing. Like what led you to start writing and the, the journey to get published? Well, it's, I've kind of had a wacky journey. I um, I always wanted to be a writer from when I was like a little kid. Um, and that I was on a fairly straight path to doing that thing. Um, I picked my college because it had a really good English program. And I went there and I took all the writing classes. And then when I was a senior in college, um, all of my friends were moving to New York City. And I hadn't really considered the practicality of moving somewhere and trying to write a book. Um, I needed food and shelter and I was sad to learn that I did not have a trust fund. Um, so <laughs> I got a job um, and I went and I worked on Wall Street for a couple of years. Um, and then after that, you know, momentum being what it is, I went to business school and I got an MBA in finance. I worked in, on Wall Street for a couple more years and I did not love that job. Uh, it was interesting, but I did not love it. Um, and then I got pregnant and I thought I could get out of this job. So <laughs> I quit that job and um, I was at home with children for eight years before I wrote anything. And I wrote my first, published my first book when I was 37 years old. Mm -hmm. So I'm like the late start story to yeah. publishing. Um, and my young adult fiction is super fun. It's about a, a, a girl named Digit is a, it's about a teenage math genius who fights mm -hmm. crime with the FBI. Um, they were fun stories. Um, and then I started writing a column for adults. Um, yeah. and that to my surprise was much more successful than my young adult novels had been. And I think that's where I sort of got comfortable with my grown up voice. Yeah. Uh, and so then when I was 50, I wrote Nora Goes Off Script. Oh my gosh, I love this journey. I love the fact that it's like, it's not a one linear path or it's not just like a one way of street to how to go around it, that it takes time, it takes energy, it takes a lot of false starts and a lot of beginnings. And yeah. sometimes success doesn't happen the first try. Uh, no, it doesn't. And you don't always find your path the first try. You know, I'm always telling my kids that the job that they're going to have probably hasn't even been invented yet. Yeah. Like, the world changes so much and so quickly and we change. And so you just have to do the next thing that's in front of you. Yeah, this is really enlightening to where I am because I'm like, I celebrated 10 years of living the first career because I was like, well, I don't know what I wanted to do. I work in college. I actually stuck around in college for about 10 years afterwards and then I left it and I was like I don't know what I'm gonna do and I was in New York and I was like what am I supposed to do and some of us did a bunch of temp jobs did a bunch of different things and I landed where I'm currently am and at the same time I'm like in my 40s and I'm like well what exactly do I want to do next like what is the next career what is the next vision and so it's a lot of it. it's like it's false starts trial and error just taking the action don't focus yeah. on like the success of what it's going to work with, you know, <laughs> for some right. of the society is like, you know, it's just trusting that you just be in the present moment right now, you know? Yeah. And, and probably when you were a kid, you thought, wow, when I'm in my forties, I'll be almost dead. Yes. You know, but no, <laughs> it's like, you're in your forties, you're in your fifties, you're in your sixties. You can just start all over again. You it's amazing. Start, it's amazing. You just, you may have your own little trust fund that you have created, you know, 
<laughs> along the way. Right. <laughs> or you may not, you know, you don't know, like, but you may have like a lifetime of wisdom. And I think in some ways it's kind of like nice to start writing at this later age in life because you have a lifetime of like experiences to draw upon. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I could never, I couldn't have written Nora Goes Off Script when I was 30. Um, yeah. I didn't know then what I know now. So yeah, yeah. I, I'm grateful for my late start. Yeah. So uh, I really love Nora Goes Off Script. I remember reading it at a point where I was like, actually, it was like, I don't know. It's just like nothing was working. And I remember sitting and my friend was like, oh, I think you should read this book. And I was like, okay, I have it. Let me just see. And I read it in one sitting and I was like, I need more of this (laughs) because your voice is so like relatable in many ways it's not your typical celebrity romance it's just like an opportunity of like seeing someone who's like struggling and like shifting and the change of life you know and trying now like what's the next step so I felt that it was like something that a call upon for me personally along along with just like a fun rom-com you know escape well, thank you. That's so nice to hear you say that. I I wrote it. Um, I wrote it really during in the initial lockdown of 2020. Yeah. So like right when we, you know, the world was ending. Yeah. Um, so you know, everyone was struggling. It was weird times and talk yeah. about a transition. Um, and it was just sort of my joyful place to hide was going to write that novel. It was yeah. really, really, really fun to do. Yeah. So now you have next time next summer. Tell us the elevator page. Uh, So that is about Sam Holloway. She's 30 years old and she returns to her family's beach house with her fiance to look at a wedding venue. And while she's there, she learns that the boy who broke her heart when she was a teenager is living next door. But he's not a boy anymore. He's a grown man and he's a hunk. His name (laughs) is Wyatt and he has a guitar. Um, anyway, so the story goes back and forth in time between what happened to them then and what's happening now and sort of unravels the mystery around what blew this whole thing up, um, what's happened to them. And it's like the perfect beach read. Like, it's like a perfect, you know, like a little, a little beach read that you can have, you know? You know, it's funny. Everybody called Nora a beach read last summer. And I thought, why is this a beach read? We never go to the beach. Um, but this book, I yeah, mean, this is this is definitely thing takes place on the beach. The it's whole like, thing is covered in sand. It's summer. It's yeah, like it really know, is summer. It is a summer. It's just like it's just like this idea, of like just getting out of getting out of the hustle and bustle of the city, going to this place, and just like relax and enjoy the setting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what can we expect next week? Are you still going to be writing more adult books or diving into? <laughs> I am. I think I'm staying with the adult books. I think that, um, (laughs) yeah, I think that's, I think that's where I'm going to be. Um, I'm finishing my June, 2024 novel right now. Um, Mm -hmm. and that is called summer romance for now, although they always change my title. So we'll see. Um, that's called summer romance and it is about a professional organizer whose life is a total mess. Um, and she, her, her mother's passed away. Her husband's left her and she decides she's going to have a summer romance. I am so excited. I feel like you're like an autobi author for me. Annabelle, tell us, do you have any books to recommend our listeners to pick up? Oh my gosh. I've read so many good books this year that honestly, that question makes my brain hurt. Um, the one that I talk about all the time, I'm a broken record is the sweet spot by Amy Popel. Have you Mm -hmm. read it? Yeah, it's so good. It is a perfect book. <laughs> it is a book that is so aspirational to me that I read it and I thought, God, I wish I wrote this book, but I'm not quite there yet. Yeah. Uh, I The story, the characters, it was just perfect. I loved it. Yeah. Oh, I love this book so much. I love this. It's like a good recommendation for if those who have not read Same Time Next Summer, they can read The Sweet Spot afterwards, you know, get them some history. So awesome. Annabelle, tell us where you can find you online. Uh, I am on Instagram constantly these days, um, and that's at Annabelle Monahan. Um, I am on Twitter sometimes as Annabelle Monahan. Um, I'm on Facebook less as Annabelle Monahan. I am never on LinkedIn, never ever. So good. Okay. <laughs> um, and my website is AnnabelleMonahan.com, and it's a G in Monahan. But if you buy my book, you'll just know how to spell my name. Yep, there we go. Be all set. 
It will be all sad. So thank you, Annabelle, for being on the show. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for having me. If you enjoyed this podcast, feel free to share with friends, subscribe, rate, and review the show. This is the easiest way to support the podcast. For a list of books mentioned and other book recommendations, please visit watchreadnextblog.com. Thank you so much for listening and happy reading.